Uh, well, to be know. a member of the range now, you guys always take your memberships, right? And yes, sir. Yeah, okay. Yep. And uh, what, what are the rules and regulations for that? And well, you know the cost? fee in it. Right. Um, the but fee. you got to put 20 hours of work in a year. A year, which is right. nothing. Which is a shoe. Yeah. You right. work one shoe one week and you're done. Yeah. Right. You know? It's, uh, well, I, I, it's, we had, there's a hundred dollar initiation, one time initiation, 125. We okay, just that. Yeah. One time. Okay. If, if you leave, uh, if you don't re-up the club, but you leave in good standing and then you want to come back and, and rejoin, yeah. that you don't have to pay that. Yeah. If you leave and you're not in good standing, then you actually have a couple year, year period before you could rejoin, okay. and then you have to pay that initiation okay. fee again. Yeah. Then it's uh, one hundred and five dollars a year, uh, dues, dues, and then twenty five dollars uh, to go to the uh, Wisconsin, Wisconsin Bowl, Bowl Hunter Association. Well, that sounds nice because it's we a are good organization to join. Yeah, to do that, we want to be a hundred and one percent, but the they call a one hundred and one percent club, right? And and that money goes to the to the to the Wisconsin Bull Hunter Association, which is the only lobbyist we have. Yeah, the archery world has for anything, yeah. and and we need to support that. So. Absolutely, and they give they give out uh, three or four magazines a right. year. Right. With all the shoots that everybody like, we're a member of them. We we list our shoots with them, and it's posted right. in that magazine right. in the middle. It's it's a great book to right. have. It's my favorite magazine. I get the whole year because yeah. mm. yeah. when I travel up north, if I can find another shoot on my way up or on my way back, right. I stop and, and right. do it. Right. Okay. Well, would you guys be interested? Maybe we'll I'll look into that. Maybe we could do some work with them. Yep. Absolutely. Get them right. out there. Yep. So that yeah, really sounds like a great organization. Yeah. They are. Oh, it's, they're fantastic. So. Yeah. Okay. Well, you guys got, you know, I've talked about it for years because I'm always busy with everything, you know, but uh, I'm, you're talking to my wife. I would be interested in joining this. Yeah. You know? Yeah, well, you, you have, we have four, off, we have 42 acres. Yeah. That you can, that you can camp and do whatever you want. Uh, we have, well, within our guidelines. Right. We have four outdoor <laughs> ranges. We right. have two outdoor practice ranges. We have a a, a tower that we can that you can practice off of. Uh, we have a 24 uh, 24 lane indoor range, which uh, uh, you have access to. Uh, and every every membership is a family membership. Yeah. So you when you come in, you bring in your whole family. And there's there's things to do that you don't necessarily have to just be an archer. If you want to bring your family in on the weekend and camp on the weekend and give a, get a get a real quick shot of the outdoors, you can do that. Yeah. And you can do that anytime you want to do that. If you want to just come in and do a nature walk yeah. through the woods, Absolutely. you can do that. Yeah. So we're not oh, we're not geared to just. J just uh, 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 bow hunting. And okay. ma as a matter of fact, I would say 50% or better of our membership is not bow hunters. Oh, okay. There are, so there, there there are archers. Uh, we're a very ver uh, diverse club. Mm -hmm. So we have we have compound shooters who are spot shooters who are are, are NFAA members who that's all they shoot is spot targets. They okay. have all the big fancy uh, equipment we have compound bow hunters we have traditional uh, uh, archery guys as Jack and myself are and, and I would say our traditional part of it is probably less than five percent of the club probably yet I'm the president yeah so we're very diverse different yeah. different uh, which is uh, ranges idea. of uh, uh, Careers. We have sure. doctors, lawyers, and we have plumbers. You know, okay. so it, it, it's a really it's it's a really good club. We do a lot of different things for the community things. Matter of fact, in June eighteenth, yeah. we're having our ninth or eighth uh, year where we do a benefit to help a needy family. Yes, yes. yes, I'm yes. going to probably yeah. follow up with you guys, of course. Yeah, yeah. And I'm going to talk to you about the membership. Yeah, I'll I'll talk to my wife. 
Because yeah. I, I think she would love this. I mean, yeah. you don't have to shoot if you don't shoot. No. Of course, she loves archery. Right. Yeah. She she might not like to hunt, but she loves right. archery. It's like, right. well, you don't have to hunt. No, yeah. no, you don't. Every so often, we'll have a little potluck dinner out here where yep. people yeah. just come and bring what they want, and it's a good way for us all to get right. together and right. kind of see each other and, and sure. you know, yeah. feel yeah. the camaraderie of the club a little yeah. bit. Absolutely. Right. You know? It's wonderful. We yeah. want the families involved. That, we want right. everybody to keep family. Uh, we have Christmas parties. That's yeah, great. We do. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're a very family orientated yeah. club yeah. because we we number one we realize if you don't have the family, you pretty much don't have anything. So. Right. Your right. club's going to die out fast. Right. right. Yeah. yeah. So well, bringing getting kids involved and stuff is wonderful too. Right. Well, we Not have archery. Other. That's the other thing. We have archery classes for the youth. Yeah. And it's actually a family archery. We call it family archery because you you bring your child in and you actually go through the through the course with them. Yeah, it's really wonderful. And we have Genesis bowls, so oh. you don't you don't even need to have equipment to take yeah. this class. That's great. So if, if your son or daughter has an inkling, comes up to you and say, "Hey, I like to learn how to shoot a bow." But you don't want to go out and spend five, six, seven hundred dollars on a ball. You, you can sense. get in this class. You can buy you. We you can use our equipment, and then you can see if if your child or even you would would be interested in following through. So there's a we're pretty we're more than just bow hunters. It's a good thing. I'm sure a lot of people when they you know read a name Bowman Club yeah. in this case Kenosha Bowman Club. They're not for certain. But sharing this right. information is, is great yeah, to bring exactly. to the public. And yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. It, there's a lot of good things about this club, as, yeah. a, as well as other archery clubs around right. the area. Yeah. You know, it, a lot of people get blind to the fact that it's, uh, they think it's just all about hunting and killing. Yeah. And, no, not the case. Not the case. Like Steve yeah. said, most of the people just do target, right. do yeah. target archery. Right. But you can come out here anytime. When you're a member, and there's always someone here that's willing to help. Right. Someone right. that knows the most about archery. Yeah. Their style of archery. Like if they wanted to approach Steve or I about traditional archery, we're always happy to help. Mr. Wheeler's great at teaching the people with the compounds he's, and stuff like phenomenal. that. He knows the equipment inside and out. And he, there's a bunch of guys that will just pitch in and help right. out at the drop of a hat. Uh, we do have broadhead shoots. I was just going to go to that. And then See that bay, uh, that backstop in the dirt? The target hangs down into the dirt area. Okay. And you shoot through there, but that 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 thick rubber belting, the broadheads won't go through that very right. far. Right. So the arrow won't go through it. But that's designed for broadhead for, we do a broadhead shoot in the fall. Yes. So people can warm up, get the broadheads flying really ready good for, for them. The, and they're ready the for the season. hunt. Correct. That yeah, is a Hungarian. One of the Achilles. Yes. Yeah. Yes, it is. It rides around it. Yeah. Isn't that nice? Very nice. I put those six tips on too. You like it? Mm -hmm. okay. That's nice. Nice looking ball. This one? Yeah. Oh, oh this one I just nice. turned out on Wednesday. You did this? There's not even any finish on it yet. Yeah. It's homemade. Yeah. That's a softball. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, it was really uh, cool.